All right, so here we are again. Um, yesterday, this didn't happen today, but it was yesterday, we made some more progress. There's a whole new set of gears here on the front, which I will walk through. So now we have a big motor gear that the weight hangs off of, and then there's a little transfer gear in the middle that transfers power to this little guy, the escapement wheel, which is stopped by this anchor that tilts back and forth along with the pendulum, which is back here. The pendulum swings and moves the anchor guy back and forth to move the escapement wheel according to the time we need to do. So that moves like that. And then the motor wheel is connected to this gear up here, which turns, which also turns this gear down here, which then has teeth here that turns this guy. We have two little outputs here. The tiny gear in the back that gets turned by the motor wheel turns the minute hand, and this one turns the hour hand. And that's what makes the clock work. But this one may not work, and that's sad. But I'm not too bummed because it's still a cool sculpture. This is just, it's tricky to make it happen because everything's paper. And you need to do everything straight and the axles need to be great. And it's hard to do that when you're dealing with paper. For instance, this axle up in the front, this guy, the little skinny guy right there, is, in order to have it fit correctly on the axle, it's stuck into a nail that kind of is the axle here. This whole wheel here is all done from here to there. It has an ac a nail as an axle. So there's a piece of cork in the top of this guy to hold the nail still. But the trick with it is that the nail doesn't really want to go into the cork. It wants to go around the cork. And when that happens, it's hard to make this want to stay straight. And it needs to be straight because it has to have the minute hand on it. And then this has to have the hour hand on it, and it all needs to be really super straight on this single axle here. And that's hard to do. So that's point number one. Point number two is I need a better rubber band back here to connect these two wheels. Because right now it's catching and not really working very well. Part of me feels like I'm going to get this thing all set up and hit the pendulum like it says and try to get it to start going. And it's going to tick twice and then it's going to stop forever. So, you know, occasionally you want to burn it, but it's working. It's kind of cool to see the minute hands, and that's the pendulum that's going to dangle off the back. It's big, and that's the little frame that's going to hang it off the wall. So anyway, it's almost done. We've just got to make a weight to hang off the motor wheel. We've just got to add the case so it's all hidden and pretty. And then we've just got to make sure that the thing actually can turn. All the axles are a little crooked. That's the frustrating part. It requires such precision. And you know, when you're working with paper in your garage in North Hollywood, precision is not the most topmost thing on your mind. But oh well. I've now spoken for about three minutes straight, so I'm going to go. But this is the state of the paper clock on January 20th, 2011. Goodbye.